the trades here. It's already abused as it is. I'm not going to do that much too. So back to the balance price range. If we run up into this to the top end, okay, the premium level of this fair value gap over here, okay, it can touch that and still get this response too. But many times you're going to see it do this. Now, if you wanted to trade short, okay, say this is the pattern that you want to focus in on. Some of you are thinking there's no way I would trade this. I don't even understand what I'm looking at. Over time, you will, and you're going to see this a lot. If it trades up into this level here, you can say, okay, I'm going to sell short here, and I'm going to put a stop loss above this high, but not by a pip or two. You go like a 10 pip above that. So you would use 10 pips above the premium level of the fair value gap that makes up the balance price range. Now, some of you are thinking, man, this sounds like you're making this stuff up as you go along. <laughs> but the charter members are smiling right now. They're saying, man, this stuff still keeps forming. Like, it's exactly what he taught. It's in, it's in your charts all the time. And if you have extra time on a Saturday and you're just relaxing in between your regular studies, you can go through and look for areas like this. And when you find them, it does these things like this. And it's amazing. It's just... The market remembers this imbalance, but it's no longer an imbalance here because it's been offered sell side now. So go back to that imbalance there, and it's hitting that. Where on earth is the level that would be considered supply, demand, support, resistance, Elliott, Harmonic? Come on now. Nothing else shows that. There's nothing here. That would constitute that as a specific price level that sends it lower. That's a balanced price range. That is also one of those things when I was looking at it, I was like, there's an algorithm that's remembering this imbalance, but it's been now balanced. And now it doesn't need to go any higher. It doesn't need to go higher than this to go back in that range because it's done its work on one single candle over here and another candle here. That's the that's the key. If it's done with one pass up, one pass down, that's a balanced price range. Then you have the sell-off. Okay. Let's go over to cable. I already talked too much about this one. 